Hi, one of the films I caught up with from the various uh, features shown over, over television on Christmas was The First Great Train Robbery, written and directed by Michael Crichton, based on his novel. It's a bit of a departure for Crichton, who's obviously best known for Jurassic Park, but who had started his career as a director with um, Westworld, another story of a theme park going wrong and the exhibit starting to attack and kill the uh, visitors. The First Great Train Robbery is very, very loosely based on fact and is about a group of criminals working together in 1855 to rob a train carrying a shipment of gold bullion sent to pay the soldiers fighting in the Crimean War. Uh, led by a uh, debonair thief masquerading as a man of business, played by Sean Connery, and an expert thief, played by Donald Sutherland, and assisted by various other characters. It's a peculiar film because I got the sense that it was intended as a comedy, but it's not played as one, it's not directed as one. Crichton... Uh, in Westworld, managed to actually balance the film into several genres. It goes through several stages. It starts as science fiction, it becomes naturally a western, but is a comedy, and then in the final stage moves into horror. But um, he doesn't have much skill in the, the delicacy of this sort of story that he's telling with the train robbery. So um, Connery and Sutherland are playing it generally straight when it needs to be more comic and more humorous. And a major issue is that the characters aren't particularly deep or interesting or likable, so you're never given any real impetus to care about what's happening. Um, you're interested only in um, seeing the mechanics of the robbery play out and not in whether or not the characters will succeed or fail. So as a result, it feels quite dull and dispassionate, and indeed much of the film is given over simply to obtaining copies of the four keys they need to open the safe that's on the train. So there's uh, breaking people out of prison so that they can climb in through skylights and get to boxes that to unlock to get to the keys, and it's all very involved, but it all feels very distant and removed from their ultimate objective. Um, the film has a very abrupt ending, uh, which felt very unsatisfying, and overall, I found it to be really quite disappointing. Um, I've not seen much of Crichton's other work as a director, although I've read a number of his books. But um, as a departure from his usual work, a period light adventure, this seems to be both ill-advised and generally unsuccessful.